Collections are the heart of museums and the corporation's national collection is one of the best of its kind in the world. From aircraft and turbine engines to clothing and photographs, it is also one of the most diverse. Each year, the corporation acquires significant artifacts. We add to our library and archives. We incorporate scientific instruments and large artifacts such as aircraft into the collection and we also welcome heritage breeds to our herds. Each and every new acquisition enhances Canada's scientific and technological heritage. Notable acquisitions this year include important archival materials from distinguished collector Lauren Shields. Lauren Shields' trade literature collection contains more than 150 items, most of which are 20th century trade catalogues from Canadian manufacturing companies. In addition, the Lauren Shields Photographic Album Collection comprises six large photographic albums. Together, they contain more than 1,000 photographs documenting construction of the Alexander Generating Station in Northern Ontario from 1926 to 1930. Across the corporation's museums, we acquired several artifacts of national significance. A Hercules C-130 transport aircraft has been added to the collection of the Canada Aviation Space Museum. In addition, the Parks Explorer vehicle, designed to help people with physical disabilities enjoy the great outdoors, will be on display in the renewed Canada Science and Technology Museum. Curatorial staff have been collaborating with experts from Indigenous communities to create content for the renewed Canada Science and Technology Museum. This includes exhibition subject matter and acquiring artifacts such as snowshoes, as well as the traditional Inuit Amauti Parka from Nunavik. We have also acquired a considerable number of scientific instruments and objects. These include an outstanding collection of geometric models from one of the world's preeminent mathematicians, Canadian Donald Coxeter. Another exciting object is a seahorse biometric tracking device. This is the first product from our partnership with Canadian Smart Textile and Wearable Innovation Alliance. Canadian sports are represented as well. We acquired a sensor-equipped hexoskin shirt worn by gold medal Olympian Erica Weed. We also acquired sports equipment for athletes with disabilities, including a Sonic 80X kayak and a sit ski. The corporation's museums also collect objects reflecting everyday life. This year, for example, we acquired an iconic Canadian-made Claritone stereo from the 1960s. Nor has art been overlooked. Donated by local artist Elaine Goebel, Portrait Canadian Tamworth is a large and dramatic painting starring the Agriculture and Food Museum's very own Tamworth Pig. This year marks the 150th anniversary of Confederation. As such, it seems only fitting that we have acquired a maple leaf flag. But this is no ordinary flag. It is in fact the very example that set technical standards for our new flag back in 1965. Donated by the National Research Council, it also includes test flags and technical logbooks. Given the diversity of our collection and the size of many of its objects, storage and conservation are key. I'm proud to report that the planning and designing of the new Collections Conservation Centre is underway. This new state-of-the-art structure will be built next to the Canada Science and Technology Museum.